what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Oh, you're getting it in. Somebody's getting it for you. What's good, people? <laughs> Woo, what's good, people? Today, we have another week called Monday. Anyway, that being said, what's good, people? Oh, it's officially hot. It's like 90 something degrees and stuff like that. Um, you already know I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little tired of my oopala hair. You know, I put it in, but you know me, I'm circle freckling. You know, kind of getting over the big look and, you know, kind of want to take it down a little bit. Anyway, that being said, what's going to be, well, um, I want to talk in reference to guys who ask you, I know your name is Raven, but what's your real name? What do you say, Raven? Say it again. I know your name is Raven, but what is your real name? You know, I find it funny when someone asks me that question because, um, if you want to meet the person that I was before I was raving, then that's who you need to contact. Now the thing about it is that there are a lot of girls like me, and there are a lot of gay guys who have ne who have never transitioned. Aboard. That's who you need to be speaking to. If you want to find out that information, you need to be looking for those type of guys in order to try to find out what they're into as far as their real names. When you come to me or a girl like me, it is a matter of respect. You know, my thing is this is that you want to find out all this information, but usually your name is John D. Um, Pharrell Malik. Um, uh, you just have all these names that's really not legally your name. Now you want to find the information about me, and I'm not saying you know that you're not entitled to that information unless we're married, unless there's some type of insurance, unless there's some type of government thing where we we are both living together, and I understand that. We have to try to, you know, as far as tax purposes and stuff like that, but most girls don't really get to that far. We only get to the first initial meeting as far as what is your real name. Now, my thing is this, is that, you know, guys always want to find a personal information. I guess because they think it's going to make you cringe and stuff like that. Now, when a guy always asks me, he's like, well, you know, I know your name is Raven, but what's your real name? My real name is Capital One. Yes, Capital One, I want to know what's in your wallet. You know, for that type of privileged information, you need to have some type of payment plan to find this information. Now, let's be realistic here. You want to find my real name. Let's ask you, what's your real name? I mean, we know the name that you gave me, but what's your real name? Do your friends know how you get down? Do, you look, do your friends know that you like the girls with the something extra? You know, because, you know, you got to make sure you close the door tiptoe up the stairs or or you know she comes to pick you up and you get inside her car and you lean way back so nobody can see you <laughs> nobody can see you inside the car with her you know are you that type of person who's like leave the key downstairs or can you crack the door so nobody will know you know that I'm coming to see you but you want information about my government name and it's funny because even though you tell someone well I th my name has changed now you know well what was your name before that you know, I just think it's so funny how you sh you want to do that type of thing as far as my personal name. So, what's your, what's your name? And I look at them. Guys, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be really not. I was about to, I was about to say something nasty, but guys, if you want to mess with a girl like me, that information is irrelevant to you. The only thing you should be concentrating on. Is she actually going to charge you? <laughs> is she going to block you? Is she going to blow you off? And when I say blow you off, not the way you want, but blow you off like she don't have nothing to say to you. You know, I think it's funny how a lot of you guys feel as though you can act fucked up towards us and then later on you try to wean your way back in like we forgot what you We remember everything you said to us that was fucked up. Another thing you always ask, do you still got it? Got what? You know, that thing between your legs, is it still there? You know, how far have you gone into transition? These are questions that are attached to money signs. Yes, money. You know, you want to find all this information and stuff like that about the girls like us. It's because you're paying for this information. Just because you're paying for it, don't mean we got to give you the real name. Because when you come to see us and stuff like that, you don't give us no information that's really real. You say you're single, but you're married. You say that if you took an age test and all tested, and you haven't. You try to have sex with girls without protection and you know you're married to a wife and you know people trying to protect her because you're just that fucked up. You go around and let everybody believe that you hate trans sex you beat them the fuck up, you'll kill a fucking faggot if you see them, but you're fucking them. You know, and my thing is that I'm supposed to share information with you 
and you're not even real. You know, and the thing about it is like, oh, I'm a real man. I'm not like them other dudes. Last time I checked, the real men are gay. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you or get you upset, but the last time I checked, the real men are gay. They are. Because straight men hide. Honey, you hide. <laughs> you run, you hide. Honey. <laughs> it is so funny. And the thing about it is we're supposed to be so dumb to the game. But a gay man, and the reason why I say that, and I'm not saying every straight man, because some straight men don't hide. But last time I checked is that most straight men do. Most straight men do. You hide. You hide. You're like the biggest fucking punk ever walked in the earth. And I hate to say it, but it's the truth. And then you get around females, you're like, oh, they got one of them things. And she's like, how do you know? I can't even tell that that was one. Because he's fucking them. He's fucking him, he's around him, he's doing something heavy. Let him spook his own tea. He spooked his own tea when he takes. So females out there when a guy says, oh, that's one of them things. Ask him, and if she's really passive and you can't pick up and say, how do you know? Look at him real good, honey. And then stop. Don't say nothing to him then. Just stop watching his ass. Go, when he goes off the computer, hit that motherfucking memory. <laughs> Let me stop. Fuck it. Mm. Anyway. You know, I'm about to put you straight down, little guys on blast, and the females and stuff. But you know what? I don't, even, I don't even give a fuck at this point, because at the end of the day, you fucking straight men are killing us left and right. When he says he knows who we are, honey, go check his fucking history. Don't say nothing to him. Go to his fucking computer history and see what he checks into. And then after that... <laughs> anyway, let me stop, because I'm about to start taking money out the girls' pockets, because, you know, he hit y'all up paying y'all and stuff like that, you know, so... I'll just keep my mouth closed. But, um, straight guys, don't tell me how much you're a real man when you actually are fucking us and stuff like that. And you want to blow, blow us off to your friends, making fun of us and want to point us out to everybody. Because at the end of the day, 9 to 5 to 10, you're already the mess with us. So my thing is this, is that keep it cute. Just keep it cute. That's all I'm saying. Keep it cute. And for the ones who want to know our real name, that is called the Find It's Fee. And we will give you a name. A real name of someone else, but not ours, because we're not this stupid. Because you're definitely not giving us your real name. You're not giving us your real name. You're not giving us your address. You're not giving. You say you live um in Philly, but you live right around the corner. You know, so let's keep it cute. Don't ask for my real name. Even if I tell you my real name is as of now, government, you don't care. And don't ask me about the swing, swing. If you ain't about to do the same thing, and it's what it is. And my thing is this is that. There are girls out here looking for love, and I know some guys say, well, you know, I try to date the girls, and they act so funny. Because they already met a bunch of you that said the same thing you're saying. Girls get tired of the same old shit. If different man, same scene, same bullshit, he get the ass out the door. Anyway, that being said, I just want to put it out for the names. Do not ask a girl what her real name is. Unless you drop to drop a couple dollars down and all your information in that damn wallet of where you live, where you, um, who you live with. All your information out is very truth within you. Because a lot of times when I learn when it comes to street men, he's like, oh, that's none of your business. But yet still, he wants to know your business. Anyway, that being said, I want to say hello, all new people. Boom. I want to say, oh, people, bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Because this is where I'm going to do to you. I want you to do the best with you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them.